Who is Ong Beng Singh? Ong Beng Singh is a Malaysian-born billionaire based in Singapore. He is now a Singapore permanent resident. He is known for his role in the hospitality and property industry. He moved to Singapore with his family at the age of four. In the early 1970s, Ong built his initial wealth selling shipping insurance. He joined Kuo International, an oil trading firm founded by his father-in-law in 1975. In 1981, he established Hotel Properties Limited (HPL) to lead Kuo International's acquisition of hotels and properties. HPL, under Ong's leadership, owned and operated an array of hotels and malls around the world, including Four Seasons, Como Hotels and Resorts, and Intercontinental Hotels Group. Ong's wife, Christina Ong, runs Como Hotels and Resorts, Retail Empire Club 21, and London-listed handbag maker Mulberry. They were the 24th wealthiest in Singapore in 2022, with Forbes estimating their net worth to be 1.75 billion US dollars. Ong also helped to bring in the Formula One Grand Prix to Singapore in 2008, marking the first night race in F1 history. However, in the course of his career, Ong has had a fair share of controversies. In 1996, people speculated that the HPL offered discounts to the then senior minister Lee Kuan Yew and then deputy prime minister Lee Hsien Long when they bought apartments at Nassim Jade and Scott 28. Subsequently, Lee Kuan Yew and Lee Hsien Long clarified in parliament that they did not ask for discounts for the apartments. Later in 2018, Ong was implicated in leaked files that claimed that he was involved in the scheme by then Maldives President Abdul Ayamin to lease out Maldives islands and lagoons to tourism developers without public tender. And this just it. Ong was arrested under a corruption investigation on July 11, 2023. Transport Minister S. Iswaran was also arrested on the same day. He posted a bill of $100,000 and was asked by the Corrupt Practices Investigation Bureau, the CPIB, to provide information relating to his interactions with Minister Iswaran. The exact nature of the investigation remained undisclosed.